Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome to beautiful Tokyo. Today, I'm sitting outside of Wagyu Mafia, and I'm about to eat the famous Kobe Chateaubriand cutlet sandwich. Now, this sandwich costs 230 US dollars. Wow. 230 US dollars. It is made with Chateaubriand steak, which is the center of the filet a beautiful piece of meat and this is of course Kobe beef. Wagyu is actually a general term for a style of beef that includes Kobe beef. So I can't wait to taste this. I wish you could smell it. I can already smell the truffle. So this is served with a little bit of truffle salt, gherkin, traditional Japanese pickled onion. So the Chateaubriand steak is breaded and then deep fried. And then there's a little bit of sauce that's placed on the sandwich bread. The meat is placed inside and then the crust is very carefully cut off and then it's cut and arranged in this beautiful pattern. So it was recommended to me that I eat the sandwich without any accompaniment first, taste it, and then try it with the truffle and the pickles. And if I'd like, I can try it with our house-made hot sauces. This is called Wagusko, and this one has yuzu in it, which is a Japanese citrus. And this one is made with habanero and shoyu, which is soy sauce. So, oh, can't wait to do this. Okay, it's so stinking beautiful. Alrighty, this is like a $60 bite of food right here. I think this might be the most expensive bite of food I've ever had. <laughs> it smells phenomenal. I can smell, it smells a bit like bulldog sauce. It has that kind of five spice tonkatsu sauce smell to it. it. Smells great. It's warm. The bread is very, very thin. Alrighty, now let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Boy, is that good. The meat is so, so tender and super buttery and flavorful. You can taste the tonkatsu sauce, but it's very light and the cutlet has been deep fried, but it's very, very light, not greasy at all. And it's not really crisp. You have just a very soft bread, just a little bit so you can deliver yourself the meat, but it does not take away from the meat. This is all about this beautiful Kobe Chateaubriand steak. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. The sauce is slightly sweet and goes super well with the beef. So, so tender. Okay, now let's try it with a little bit of this truffle salt. Sprinkle that on there. Oh my gosh, I can smell the truffle already. So fragrant. It almost has this kind of garlicky, mushroomy smell to it. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So truffles have a really strong flavor and can overpower. So I really appreciate the fact that this is in salt form. I just add a little sprinkle, which gives you a pop of salt, heightens the meat flavors, and gives you this kind of punch of truffle, more like a perfume. Absolutely lovely. Okay, now let's try a bite with pickle. Oh, this is so good. That's really playful. So this pickled gherkin is not a sweet gherkin. It's more kind of like a dilly gherkin, but it has a really great crunch. So the contrast of this really tender buttery meat and this pickle that has a little bit of tang to it and a nice big crunch. So good. Mm. Mm. In terms of a Rolodex of flavors, it reminds me a little bit of that combination of beef and pickle in a hamburger. This, of course, is much tastier in the beefier flavor, and the texture of the meat is completely different than a hamburger. This is much more substantial, it has a great big chew to it, but there is a little sensory bell that rings with the combination of pickle and beef. Delicious. Okay, now let's try it with the pickled onion. 
Okay. <sighs> this is best. I don't want it to end. So that's a traditional Japanese pickled onion. It has, as you heard, a great crunch. And it's a little bit sweet, but tastes a little bit different than perhaps pickled onions you would have stateside. But again, kind of familiar, the combination of pickled onion and beef. It's familiar, yet it's its own thing. Absolutely stinking delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna have pickle and onion together. Super. Texturally, it's a little kind of playful dance in your mouth. Delicious. Alrighty, let's try our hot sauces. Use you one first. Give it a good shake. Very reminiscent of Tabasco, by the way, in terms of packaging. Add this on here. Just a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Nice little bit of acidity in there. Um, it tastes a little bit like Sancho pepper or something. It's got a nice little kick. Just a little goes a long way though. I wouldn't put too much because it would take away from the sandwich flavors. You can smell the shoyu. Okay, this is made with habanero. Mmm. I would just say one drop, otherwise you risk kind of overpowering this beautiful sandwich. But I do like the addition of the heat. I think my favorite combination so far, I don't know my favorite combination so far. It's just delightful and playful. I'm gonna have the last bite with a little bit of truffle and a little bit of hot sauce. Peel the lily. All right, here we go. It's all good. <laughs> it's all so good. Very, very well considered and planned and just a delicious, delicious sandwich. <laughs> mm. Most decadent lunch I've ever had in my entire life, hands down. And there you have it. I just consumed a $230 sandwich, all in my belly. <laughs> and it was delicious. It was absolutely fine and delicious. Alrighty, so there you have it. The $230 beautiful Kobe Chateaubriand cutlet steak sandwich here at Wagyu Mafia. I will put a link down below in case you find yourself in the Shibuya area of Tokyo anytime. So if you'd like to get yourself one, you know where to go. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye! Ugh. <laughs>